Yeah, they will get a little toasty. If you think back to the last couple of heat waves, we're not talking that hot. Okay. You know, this, this is actual bearable heat. Just oh, maybe sure. <laughs> just, just a little on the warm side. So there is a heat advisory out for a few of our counties. We'll show you that uh, in just a little bit. That would be for Dodge, Jefferson, and Walworth County. But again, temperatures this morning are not bad. Good morning to be outside on the parade route. 66 in Waukesha, Port Washington, where there as well. 72 at Mitchell, 73 in Watertown and Beaver Dam. Warming up though very nicely with the sunshine. These areas were into the 60s early on this morning, as you can see more and more of us hitting the 70s. As mentioned, that heat advisory kicks off at noon today, so it's going to take a little bit for this heat to build, and then it's out of here by 8 o'clock, so we do cool down at night. It's not prolonged for days on end like the last couple were, so we just got one afternoon of that. However, for the highlighted counties here, it will feel like the triple digits for a lot of us. It'll still be very warm for the rest of us, but I think we stay below that triple digit threshold. So still plenty warm, drink plenty of water. Let's go through that on future forecasts. These are future heat index values. Notice uh, already by 10 o'clock feels like it's 92 in Waukesha, 93 in Watertown, 91 in West Bend. It is a little bit cooler on the lakefront. Yes, I still think we'd get a good push of warm air from time to time, but we'll get that lake breeze every so often to kind of give us some of that relief that our inland areas won't be seeing. Again, notice where that heat advisory is. 99 is what it feels like in Beaver Dam, Watertown at 98, 96 in Lake Geneva. This is just by noon. By 3 o'clock, a couple triple digits popping up. Lake Geneva feeling like 100, 99 in Waukesha and Burlington, Whitewater, even Fond du Lac, we're up to 99. So even if you're not in the heat advisory, keep in mind it's going to be very warm for the day today. By 6 o'clock, Burlington feels like 100, Watertown were there as well, and pretty close, Beaver Dam to Fond du Lac. So just keep that in mind if you're out and about for the day today. With all the water you're going to be drinking, put on the sunscreen, UV index up to a 9, which means we're talking about 20 minutes to sunburn today. So we have the sunshine this morning. Good morning to be out the, at the parades doing whatever. Then this afternoon, if you have plans, maybe take the umbrella if you want to be on the safe side. But look how spotty our storm chance is. And for a lot of us, won't even be storms. It'll be just showers. Very, very spotty stuff just during basically the afternoon daylight peak heating time. As soon as that sun begins to set, Here's 8 o'clock. Notice we lose that chance going through the overnight hours. So for today, overall, we're on the dry side. But if you want to be on the safe side, take the umbrella with you. 87 degrees. Inland areas feeling like 92, but we'll or climbing to 92, but we'll feel like 100. And again, I'm not going to rule out that pop-up storm. But again, most of us, 90% of us are dry for the day today. A little better chance for rain will be on Thursday. It's still not a washout. It's scattered stuff. But I think more of us do see rain for Thursday. Still plenty warm. If you don't like the heat, Check out this week ahead. Not only is it dry with sunshine, but very seasonal temperatures as we hang out right near 80 degrees, a few degrees on either side of that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then even into next week, Monday and Tuesday. Out on the roads this morning. No